I think that as a community, we're pretty engaged with what's going on in the world mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. wars and even school shootings. Like those are things that are very present in our mm-hmm. collective consciousness. Over the years, we've held that in a lot of different ways. At the moment, we have like a grief table at school and Mm. you can add things so we can kind of hold that collective grief about wars, about the pandemic, about so many realities that people are facing right now. And Mm. we can kind of hold that as a community and not be, I think we don't want to be the people, you know, separate and just doing our own thing for Mm -hmm. a few people. Exactly. We have this idea that what we're doing is contributing to the dismantling of systems that oppress us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's something we hold very explicitly in our community. And I think people engage with to varying degrees and mostly very robustly. So Mm -hmm. that's kind of one avenue. And then in terms of like, you know, Oregon is a state that allows there to be independent schools. So not every state allows that. And we, so we, you know, we have to do immunization records. We have to do Mm. certain things and otherwise we're not accountable to the government. Mm -hmm. And, you know, things come up like school choice bills could possibly allocate money that could benefit us. And we think of it more as like the bigger picture mm-hmm. of maybe that would benefit us in a small way, but what would be the other ramifications of it? And so, yeah, I think, I think what happens in the world definitely impacts us and mm-hmm. that's intentional. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.